Hi, I'm Sylvia Stoner, and I'm playing Charlotte in the Lyric Opera of Kansas City's production of Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Well, Charlotte's been living in the barn for a while, and her perspective is, uh, you know, there's a new animal in the barn, and it's Wilbur, this baby pig, and he's crying, and he's lonely, and she wants to be his friend. So really, the, the whole opera for her is about this friendship with Wilbur. And she also knows that she's coming to the end of her life, and because in her lifespan, once she lays her eggs, then she passes away shortly after that. But this relationship with Wilbur is so important to her that she's willing to do whatever she can to try to save his life because he's younger. And, you know, the whole story is very much a circle of life, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's, it's a beautiful story, and, and they develop a really wonderful friendship. At the beginning, Wilbur says, but you're a spider and I'm a pig, and my response is, well, you're observant. <laughs> you know, so it doesn't matter what our differences are, we can still be friends. And through that friendship, she comes up with some very clever ideas as to how to keep him from going to being made into ham and things like that. <laughs> and, and that's by writing words in the weapon. But it's, it's beautiful, and it's a beautiful friendship. And he actually winds up saving her children in the end. So it shows how, how they help each other. Well, your character, even though there are human parents in this story, is really the most matriarchal, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think Charlotte takes on a motherly role to Wilbur, especially, um, because the journey of his character is really boy becomes man, pig becomes pig pig, <laughs> and, and she helps him to understand that and to understand bigger issues of life. And, and friendship and inner strength and integrity and courage. And so I definitely think so. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't get to see as much of the parents. They're more through the children's eyes that we view the parents. But definitely, I think Charlotte's kind of the matriarch of the whole barn in many ways, too, because um, she assembles the animals together to protect Wilbur when he tries to escape, telling them that he's a lot safer in the barn as well. So she, she has that role with a lot of the animals. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, it's, it's full of life. Um, tomorrow I'm very excited because we get to spend the whole day working on the set. And I just can't, it's hard to convey the physicality of it. I mean, I will be on a web that is basically a jungle gym out of metal bars. So I'm constantly climbing or flying or, or doing something. And it's, it's, for me, one of the most fun physical roles mm -hmm. I've had to play. Uh -huh. and, uh, just, just to see these transformations and these very interesting characters, I, I really think that's an atypical opera, but it's something that the lyric will be very proud of because okay. it's something different. Well, that must um, pose a unique physical challenge for you as a singer. <laughs> right. You're constantly moving and, and not kind of in an upright position. <laughs> right, right. And, and when I spell the words, it's, it's a huge span of, of space you have to cover to do that. Uh, so I'm figuring out how to balance the activity and the breath support with the singing, but so far it's, it's been more fun than a challenge. <laughs> so. it, does this story lend itself well to um, being told through music? Definitely, yes, yes. And, and it's a neat musical, I, I mean opera slash musical because it's, we're primarily opera singers singing it, but um, no, yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, neat elements in it where you get a sense of, of what the characters are, what their spirits are because of the music, whether it's upbeat or if it's a, a ballad where they're yearning, like Fern, Fern is so excited to have Wilbur, and you can hear her when she sings that, how, how she's excited to have Wilbur. And, um, when we become friends, it's a very bouncy, happy song. My spinning song, you can totally hear me working with my feet, my, my fingers, and with my legs and the threads. And so the music is very colorful. It's very fun. Now there are some young students that you're working with that get to perform. Could you talk a little bit about your relationship to some of them? Sure. Oh, well, we have a great cast. Um, whether it's adults or, or students. And we have, beginning with my little baby spiders, they're so cute and they're just perfect. Every, everyone who's doing the show is really perfect for their part. Um, 
I've really enjoyed working with the Ferns and the Jakes, uh, the Jakes, <laughs> the Ferns and the, Av and the Avery, because um, you know those are who I interact with more, and uh, the little lambs, and they're very, very talented, very professional. Um, it really is they're, they're models for the professionals who are in the, the company. Um, I've worked with Avery before uh, at KU Opera. We did a street scene together. We actually played my son, Jake. Mm -hmm. played my son, and um, so it's nice to work with him again. And uh, one of the ferns, Sarah Hennessy, I actually had, have taught voice to uh, since she was about eight years old, so off and on. So it's, it's really neat to see her mature into a, a very successful artist. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, beyond your relationship with those two students, as a professional um, singer, do you feel like you're also um, constantly teaching? during the rehearsal process. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, I think because there are so many children involved in this opera, I, I think, I definitely feel like a role model. Um, you know, one thing that's important in opera is when you come to the rehearsal process, you are expected to be off book, you're expected to have done your homework and, and have everything memorized and your music accurate and ready to go. So I, I feel especially because the children came in very prepared. You know, I need to make sure I'm at that level and always, you know, focused. And, and, and also by us being focused, it helps pull the whole company together. But it's been very good. If I were to bump into you on the sidewalk with my seven-year-old child huh. and you were to tell me that you were doing this, this piece, what would you say to me to convince me that my child should see this piece? Well, I would say that a seven-year-old or seventy-year-old would enjoy this piece. It's a, it's a beautiful story of, of friendship, of sacrifice, of courage, and um, for, for a seven-year-old especially, the, the characters are so colorful, whether it's their costumes or, or seeing people transform from, you know, being on the ground on four legs, and then when the adults go away, they stand up and they start, their real animal selves come out and they talk, and, and that's very fun, because kids at least I did when I was a child. I imagined, of course my dog can talk to me. Of course my cat can talk to me. And so they, you know, it, it, these animals come to life. And they're very human, you know, it, it, but the story is told very clearly and it's, it's very fun.